Hello everyone. It's more than two years since Tatras took over Air India. How has it worked out? Well, the people are already the beneficiaries. Why? Because the union government is no longer wasting money every year on Air India. And that's good. The public need not be concerned about any money that the Tatas lose. It's their problem, not ours. But what about the airline? From what I hear from people who have flown Air India recently, the flights are no longer awful. They have improved, but not too much. There's still no magic or wow in flying Air India. It's mediocre. The worldwide rating is that Air India gets three stars with a maximum of five stars. In the middle, mediocre. And that's disturbing because Tatas are one of India's leading groups. And if that's what they can achieve in two years, it's worrisome news. To be fair, the Tatas' hands were tied for the first year. They couldn't kick out the old stuff. But now they've kicked out the deadwood. And in that first year, they could have planned for rapid change to become a world-class airline. Instead, they came up with what they said was a five-year plan to become a world-class airline with an Indian heart. Okay, so it will take Tata five years. Perhaps there will be some slippages and it may take six or seven years. By then, the world's leading airlines would have already moved on and up. And this means that Tata may not be able to create a world-class airline even after five or seven years. So what? That's Tata's problem, not ours. Passengers have a choice of airlines. Air India has no monopoly and we can fly on other airlines. But it still is worrisome. Tata's slow progress means that even the topmost Indian group cannot move quickly. And if the topmost Indian group cannot move, move quickly, it's possible that India cannot move quickly. And that's the fear. That's it for today. I'll be back with another video soon. Bye till then.